Hey guys, progress is impossible without change, and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. And so today, we're gonna talk about it. Let's talk tennis. To the tennis scholar thanks for tuning in again today I want to talk about a mindset that I think is very important in the progression of of the mental aspect of your games and that is the willingness and openness to, to change too many times I've worked with students that over the period of a year they progress very little one of the biggest reasons is because for that for that entire year they're trying to change something okay and they haven't been successful in doing it but what I really want to talk about is the reason why they haven't been able to do it okay sometimes you can get into the the mindset of not wanting to change your game because what happens when you change your game you lose consistency you lose power you lose accuracy and so a lot of times students resist change and so before we move on it's my philosophy that a good coach is one that is gonna backwards engineer your game in other words not cookie cut you into a tennis player and the reason being is that everybody's made different everybody's has different length arms, different length legs, stronger cores, stronger legs, stronger arms, stronger wrist, weaker wrist, whatever the case is, everybody's made a little different. And so everybody's game should be different in terms of technique and style, right? And so a good coach in my opinion is one that's going to look at your game figure out what's working out for you and then make the necessary changes based on you and so in order for that to happen the student has to be open to constant change you have to be willing to change you have to be able to to accept the fact that your game is going to be evolving as you get better you can't get too comfortable with your game where you don't want to change something you have to understand that as you progress as you get better, you have to be making constant adjustments, constant changes. You know, if you're if you're 12 years old, 14 years old, 16 years old, to think that your game is going to be the same two years from that. In order for that, if that were true, you have to ask yourself a question: Can I tame my game now and win where I want to win? Whether it's at a college level, whether it's at a pro level, okay, or whether it's at a league level. If the answer to that is no, then you have to understand that something has to change in order for you to get better. Okay, and so there's always going to be change no matter what level, what level of the game you're at. There's always going to be changes and adjustments to your game. You have to be okay with that. And so, and so generally, two different mindsets occur. first one, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. The student will think that whatever you're asking them to do, whatever they're being asked to do, cannot be done. And I've had students come to me and say, Coach, I cannot, what you're asking is not possible. So my answer to them is always, have you tried it? 
And if the answer is no because you just don't think it's possible, then that right there is a, is a brick wall that you're running into. Until you change that mindset to from I can't to I can, that's when the change will start to happen. And so as a student, understand that before you, you judge something, before you think something either can or cannot be done, try it out. Because if your coach is trying to backwards engineer your game, everything that is, is changed in your game may not work for you. You have to make the changes so that you know what works for you and what doesn't. And so you want to make those changes as quickly as possible so that you don't spend a long time making a change only to find out that it's not going to work. The other mindset that happens is that the student, whether he or she thinks it's possible or not, just is unwilling to make the change. And there's a couple reasons why somebody could be unwilling to make the change. The most common is that fear that their game will take a step back, which is true. It will take a step back and you have to be willing to take that step back so that you can move forward. Anytime you change something, your, your game will suffer and that's okay. Because again, if you don't make those changes, right, in two years, are you going to be able to win with that game where you want to go, right? And so again, if the answer is no, then you got to be willing to take that step back to make that change. Accept the fact that you're going to change something in your game. And the faster you accept it, the faster you will actually start trying what you're being asked to do. Because what you don't want to happen is to be six months out and still be trying to change whatever it is you're being asked to change, right? And so, if you're asked to change something, it should really take you, for a more advanced player with more knowledge of, of the games and, and, and the strokes and the court, it should really only take you two to four weeks to change something. At a maximum of, of, of four weeks uh, and again this is an advanced player who generally will be on the court three to five times a week uh, I'm playing tournaments on the weekends because you're spending a lot of time on the court you should be practicing those changes every time you're on the court and within two weeks you should already start to see that change Within the next two weeks, you should be able to fully change and adapt whatever it is you're being asked to change to your game. And so what that allows you to do now is then through a very quick period of time, six months, is be able to make enough changes to figure out what's going to work best for you. And then once you figure that out, then you can improve it and fine-tune it and get the power you want and get the precision you want and get the placement you want on it. well that's it for today guys thanks for watching keep an open mind to change uh, remember you you have to be open to change you have to be willing to take that step back I know it's hard sometimes especially if you've been doing something a certain way for a really long time uh, but be open to it because the sooner you make those changes, the sooner you can figure out what's your style, what's your game going to be like. Ultimately, as long as you have great fundamentals, you want, you want to develop your game and your style. Not somebody else's, but yours. The one that works better for you, for the way you move, for the way your body is structured. So be willing to change, stay open to change, and make the necessary changes as often as you need to. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe, share, and please don't forget to comment. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next time.